I'm in front of Corporate Services in the Del Mar College Center for Economic Development. Corporate Services assists organizations with a vast array of training programs that can be customized to meet their needs. Organizations get access to the college's world-class academic and professional resources. Another outstanding service available at Del Mar now. I'm Amy Mintz, an Associate Professor of Child Development Early Childhood at Del Mar College. The Career Pathways Navigator for the Adult Education Literacy Program is here. Rebecca Salinas will explain the services they offer to students. Belinda Dela Cruz is also with us. She's the Program Manager for Corporate Services at Del Mar College. As always, students in the radio and television program are back with the Del Mar Now update. There's a lot of great information coming your way. Stay with us. This is Del Mar Now. is the Career Pathways Navigator for the Adult Education Literacy Program. Prior to Del Mar College, she worked as the Economic Self-Sufficiency Coordinator with the Corpus Christi Housing Authority. She received her Bachelor's of Science degree in Human Sciences and a Master's of Science degree in Counseling and Guidance from Texas A&M University, Kingsville. Please welcome to Del Mar Now, Rebecca Salinas. Hi, Rebecca. Thanks for being with us today. Hi, Amy. Okay, so you are the Career Pathways Navigator for the Adult Literacy Program. Yes. Tell us a little about the services that you offer. So right now we do have our Career Pathway Program, and Career Pathway Programs is through the Adult Education Literacy Program. Students are able to be co-enrolled. They're able to pursue a training certification as well as their high school equivalency at the same time. Okay, and you know, when people hear the word adult literacy, this is not just a reading program, no, right? No, it is so not. Could you give us a little background on like, really what is this student gonna be working on or when they, when they graduate or leave this program? So, uh, well, it used to be known as a GED program. Mm -hmm. um, we've changed that. There's multiple tests that we can actually offer the students. So we like to say high school equivalency. And it's the adult education literacy because we focus not only just on literacy, but as well as the math component as well. And we really do teach a lot toward the students not only getting their high school equivalency, but being college ready. So right. that when they go on past their high school equivalency, they are able to go into their college courses and pursue their secondary education. Right. You know, in, in, you know the students that are entering into this program, for whatever reason didn't finish their prior schooling and so this is a way of getting back of their foot into the yes. door and you know getting them ready for the next step that's about to happen yes correct and i'm sure they have goals like everyone else oh yes they do <laughs> <laughs> they definitely do can you tell us a little bit about the students that are that you serve in yes terms of what who they are what they're like we we have a vast range of students that we work with um i will say they are all highly motivated all the students that come in are choosing this. Nobody is requiring that they come do this program. They want their education. Right. This is something that they are passionate about and want to pursue. So that alone is amazing to see them walk through the door. Um, sometimes their goals are, I just want my high school equivalency. Mm -hmm. So that is our job um, to kind of open up their eyes. That is step one. Right. What do you want to do next? And not even next, with the Career Pathway Program, what do you want to do as well? So our students can pursue programs such as welding or CNA while, again, being co-enrolled in their high school equivalency classes. So they don't even have to wait until they earn it, they can start Doing now. Doing it together, yes, exactly. Yes, yes, they start their goal immediately. Yes. You know, and that's something that's interesting that while I'm working on this, I'm also gaining a skill. Yes. Uh, gaining something that's gonna get me workforce ready Correct. so that when I'm leaving, I am ready for that, for the mm -hmm. community that's holding these positions for me. Yes, they get to join the community in a workforce and they get to decide what they want. Do, what do you want to study? What is it that you always saw yourself doing? I think a lot of times, they, some of our students didn't think that far. They're focused just on, again, high school equivalency, but as soon as we ask those questions, everything just opens up to them. They're like, I could do medical field. I've always wanted that. Right. And we get to show them, you don't have to wait. We can do this now. <laughs> yes. Well, so it sounds like, though, initially something might have been a hurdle which prevented them mm -hmm. from finishing their high school uh, degree program. So it sounds like 
perhaps maybe there could still be hurdles in these individuals' lives. Yes. So what resources do you offer services that might be struggling in this program? Are they needing additional help or additional resources that maybe the traditional college student doesn't necessarily need? They do have a lot of, um, there's been a lot of issues that some of them have. Not every student, mm -hmm, I definitely right. don't want to say that, but we have had students that maybe child care is an issue. So that's where we step in the AEL department and we step in and say, okay, well then let's try and see if we can connect you to child care in the community. Okay. Maybe such as Head Start a Community Action. If another individual says, you know, I I'm actually don't even have a home right now, mm -hmm. then that is where we work one-on-one -on -one with that student, try and find resources in the community to find them, whether temporary housing or something to assist them so that there's no barriers for them right. to continue their education. So that is our big focus with our students. Um, regarding like tutoring, things like that. Del Mar College has a vast resource, like so many resources, it's amazing. So we are constantly promoting, if you need counseling, let's go to the counseling center. We even walk our students to these programs if they're a little hesitant. Um, so we definitely promote all resources through the Del Mar College campus to them. Let's talk the big question, cost. Yes, yes. <laughs> so yes. Tell uh, us a little bit about the fees that might be associated with com going through this um, program. So the AEL department offers our classes to earn your high school equivalency at no charge. Free. There is no charge. <laughs> um, we provide everything for the students. Um, we, we, they do not have any fees. So the only time that they may have a fee is once it's time to pay for the test. Okay. But we actually have scholarships to help them pay for two out of the four. So even there, more so resources. So even there, we, yes, we continue to help them. And if somebody says, I still can't pay for the other two, well then we'll meet one-on-one -on -one and see if maybe there's something we can do because we don't want that to be that final hurdle. They've crossed so many hurdles to get to this point. We don't want that to be the last hurdle. Right. We will help them as any way that we can, yes. And so in terms of, I know when registration opens up for the traditional college student, is registration a similar time frame or can students come in at any point and start registering for these classes or do you have blocks, time, segments of when enrollment happens? So we do, um, we have our dates um, throughout the year that are orientation. So our students have to come through an orientation process and actually get tested to see what level they're at so we know where to place them and give them the best education okay. for their level. Um, so we do that at an orientation and you can always uh, call our telephone number 698 um, either 1879 or 698-1748 and if you call you can get the information on the next orientation dates. Okay well hopefully we get some phone calls soon. Yes. Can you tell us a quickly a success story, something that will motivate students to want to join this program. I actually had a student today stop by my office. <laughs> um, she did two semesters of the welding program, mm -hmm. completed, found uh, employment. She just finished in December 2017, and she is earning over five times the minimum wage. Wow. Yes. So, and she's doing welding. This is exactly the field she wanted. And she was through our program and went through everything. And she is an absolute success and is independent and is loving welding. Oh, well, that's super yes. great to hear. That is a success story. And who can't deny wanting a high paying job, right? Yes. <laughs> and traveling. She's getting to travel as well. So she's very excited and happy about it. Okay. Tell us one more time. Where can people get more information? Is there a phone number, website? Yes. Can they come in person someplace? Yes, definitely. Um, we usually recommend people call just because um, we do have classes that take place at multiple campuses. Mm -hmm. We are spread out also in the various counties that surround Nueces as well. Okay. Um, so if they can contact 698-1748, okay. that is our direct hotline so that students can call and get their orientation information. Okay. Yes. All right. So call ahead to make an appointment and then they can yes. meet in person. That is the best way. Yes, ma'am. Okay, great. Well, thanks for chatting with us today yes, about this course. great information. Yes, of course. Thank you so much for having me. We're taking a quick break, but students in the radio and television program are next with a Del Mar Now update. We'll return when we meet the program manager for corporate services at Del Mar College. So don't go away. What does it take to go from entry level to management material or from the day to day to paving your own way? What does it take to go from how will I ever get there to look how far I've come? It takes a Viking. 
Advance your career and continue your education at Del Mar College. Dreams delivered. If you're a college student in South Texas and you need financial aid, Del Mar College has some important information for you. Recently, the U.S. Department of Education reinstated year-round Pell Grants, providing many full-time college students with federal dollars to pay for summer classes. For students taking classes year-round, this can mean less debt and a shorter time to graduation. For information on Pell Grants, contact Del Mar College at 361-698-1293 or go to our Facebook page at Del Mar College Financial Aid. Catch the Viking spirit. Nationally recognized and locally focused, Del Mar College has been delivering dreams for over 75 years. If Del Mar College has touched your life, join the Vikings Alumni Association and help others achieve their dreams. Stay connected. Support scholarships. Explore the Viking Career Network. Join online today at delmar.edu slash alumni for as little as $10 and get a free t-shirt. Show your Viking pride. Welcome to this edition of Del Mar Now Update. I'm Cecily Ansley. And I'm Ashley Sargent. Summer classes will again be funded by Pell Grants. The U.S. Department of Education reinstated the grants after a six-year absence. Del Mar College Vice President of Student Affairs, Dr. Rito Silva, says the reinstatement is good news because it will allow students to attend college full-time year-round. Previously, students could receive federal financial assistance only during the long semesters. If they wanted funds for summer classes, they would either have to find other financial aid or take fewer classes in the funded semesters to have money for the summer. Nearly 4,000 Del Mar students received Pell Grants for fall 2017. Nearly half of the students were full-time. Preliminary data for the spring semester indicates quite a few students will be taking advantage of this. Yes, it's about 3,000 students. Accreditation has been given to the Center for Early Learning at Del Mar College. The center received confirmation of the accreditation from the National Association for the Education of Young Children in late February. The center was required to submit documentation and evidence portfolios and in showing high standards in classroom management along with routines and rituals. An assessor from the National, Associ a National Association did an on-site visitation and did classroom observations. The accreditation evaluation summary showed that assessed items met at least the 80 percent requirements. Another criterion stated that at least a 70% had to be achieved for assessed items for each class selected. Assessed items included curriculum, a child's progress, health, teachers, and physical environment. A sponsorship at the Morris Lichtenstein Center for Early Learning will allow free meals to youngsters enrolled in childcare. The Center for Early Learning, a part of Delmar College, says that children will receive the meals regardless of income. Parents of the children will be required to complete a child and adult care food program application. The application allows the center to seek reimbursement from the Texas Department of Agriculture's Food and Nutrition Division. Copies of the policies of the CACFP are available for viewing at the Center for Early Learning on Del Mar's campus at Staples and Baldwin. Enrollment in Del Mar College's child care program is limited to available space. A sizable denotion. A uh, sizable scholarship award has been given to assist process technology majors. Gulf Coast Growth Ventures gave $54,000, which will be shared among 17 selected Del Mar College process technology majors. Gulf Coast Ventures is a partnership between ExxonMobil and Sabic, a Saudi Arabian company that deals with diversified chemicals. Operations Manager for the project, John Mabry, says the scholarship illustrates the commitment towards the critical education needed to ensure a competent, qualified workforce. The monetary stipends started from about $2,000. Yeah, it goes all the way up to $4,000 per student. Four women raised in San Antonio's West Side neighborhood are spotlighted in an award-winning award -winning documentary. The four women tell their stories of personal tragedy leading to retirement and then their present-day musical resurgence. Las Tesoros de San Antonio, a West Side story, covered the careers of Rita Virauri, Blanquita Rodriguez, Beatrice Llamas, and Janet Cortez. The documentary will be shown 1 p.m. in room 514 in Delmar College's White Library, March 28th. The producer-director of the documenter, documentary, Jorge Sandoval, will be present for the screening of the 85-minute feature. Through the stories and music, viewers will learn how the four women became successful singers and performers in a male-dominated industry. 
Each, though, had their career cut short because of a variety of circumstances. The documentary has won several awards the past two years at film festivals in San Antonio, California, Arizona, and Colorado. Aspiring and emerging small businesses have been helped for nearly 40 years by the Small Business Development Center. Small Business Development Centers, or SBDC, commemorated this assistance March 21st with SBDC Day. The president of SBDC, Charles Rowe, says that small businesses around the country have raised over $5 billion in capital and created 100,000 new jobs. Del Mar College was a part of the celebration with its second annual SBDC Day. The observance was held at the Center for Economic Development and attendees were able to meet with office staff and fellow entrepreneurs. SBDCs provided over 1 million hours of advising during 2016 to nearly 190,000 client businesses. In addition to creating nearly 100,000 new jobs, over 17,000 new businesses were started. That has been this edition of Del Mar Now Update. I'm Cecily Anthony. And I'm Asha Sargent. Stay tuned for more Del Mar Now. Attention Coastal Bend military veterans. If you're thinking about pursuing a college education or resuming your studies and you don't feel like you're college ready, Del Mar College may be able to help. Through a grant from the U.S. Department of Education, we've launched the Veterans Upward Bound program to help veterans just like you navigate the process of going back to school. All services are free to qualifying veterans. For more information, call the Veterans Upward Bound program at 361-698-2643 or go to our Facebook page at Del Mar College Veterans Upward Bound. Dream of earning a great salary with excellent benefits? Del Mar College can get you where you want to go. Drivers are in huge demand. And with our transportation training services, you can earn a commercial driver's license in as little as three weeks. So drive your own success and get the license that puts you behind the wheel. Learn more at delmar.edu slash trucking. For more information about Del Mar Now, log on to www.delmar.edu slash now. If you have questions, comments, or suggestions to help us improve Del Mar Now, send an email to now at delmar.edu. Our next guest is the Program Manager for Corporate Services at Del Mar College. She started the college in 2014 and holds her bachelor's degree from Texas State University. Please welcome to Del Mar Now, Belinda De La Cruz. Well, thank you, Amy, for having me. I appreciate the opportunity. What a pleasure. Um, okay, so corporate services, you know, this. a lot of people may not know how this is affiliated with Del Mar College, so can you give us a little bit of uh, an overview quickly about what corporate services are? Okay, so as a program manager, my role is to basically work with our corporate clients and industry partners to develop employee development training solutions. Okay. So basically to enhance the skill set of our of their employees. So basically their employees become our students. Ah, uh -huh. so they don't necessarily start off as Del Mar College students. These are workforce, is stu are people in the workforce already that yep. whose company is contracting With to get special services training um, To enhance their skill set, yep. And so we've got like four categories of training. Okay. Uh, the first is workplace competency skills. And so these are soft skills. Uh, you may, you know, like leadership training, management training, uh, driving change, teamwork, um, diversity. There's a plethora of workplace competency, right. competency skills. And we also have a uh, partnership, education partnership with Franklin Covey and DDI, and these are renowned leadership programs that are some of our trainers are certified to deliver these leadership platforms to our clients, and so that's been very successful. 
So that's one category. We have a second category of training under safety. As mm -hmm. you may know, uh, safety is of utmost importance to right. our clients in the region. And so uh, some of the program that comes to mind is emergency response training, as I was sharing with you earlier. The, this teaches uh, the employees of our clients how to respond to an incident. So for example, hazardous materials or confined space training, rope rescue training, trench rescue. So there's this whole world of safety. And of course that caters to our oil and gas and petrochem right. and manufacturing facilities. Mm -hmm. And then our clients also come to us with trades. You know, they have artisans in their workplace that may be really good at welding or machining, but they want to sort of enhance their skill set. And so they come to us and ask us to sharpen their skills. Okay. And so we've done all kinds of those trade uh, trainings, uh, welding, NDC, uh, NDT, CNC, uh, aviation maintenance, I mean, pretty much all the trades that Delmar teaches. And then finally, um, the business tools. This is software training. So we offer training on Microsoft Office Suite, uh, Photoshop, Adobe, uh, Lean Sigma 5S, project management. And the training takes place here at our labs at the Center for Economic Development or at our West Campus. So a wide array. Yeah, It's definitely. pretty broad. So again, it's how do we enhance the skill set of the employees of our clients? Okay, well tell me why would someone want to contract with corporate services as opposed to doing their own in-house training? What are the benefits or the, what are they going to get out of this that maybe well, that are not offered traditionally? Yeah, well many times our clients don't have the resources or the skill set okay. in-house. And so they come to us because the beauty of our model is that we leverage existing Delmar resources. So we work with Delmar instructors, which we consider subject matter experts. Mm -hmm. We leverage Delmar curriculum and we customize a solution for the client that probably is much more co cost effective than for them to hire someone to do it or for them to have in-house training providers to do this training. So it's a great value um, and great quality training. And so while Del Mar College may be focused on completions and graduates, mm -hmm. we in, at Del Mar Corporate Services are focused on enhancing and sharpening the skills of those employees of our clients. And it's funny because we find that a lot of times those employees are Del Mar alumni. Right. So we've taught them before, <laughs> so which is wonderful. And it just continues with our mission of continuous learning. Right, yeah. right. You, you know, and, and it's interesting that to think, you know, some of these might have been Del Mar College students at, at another time, mm -hmm. but think, you know, Things change. Technology changes. Absolutely. Information te changes. So even if they maybe have had that, this course when they were Del Mar College student, it's very likely oh, yeah. to have changed. Yep. Technology is ever changing, and the skill sets need to be you know up to date. Right. And you know the cu the customers wanting to uh, basically uh, you know their 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 role is to to generate revenue, right, and and to take care of their clients, and so they they need to stay abreast of what's the latest technology, like in manufacturing, there's uh, this new wave of advanced manufacturing that's coming that's industri that's the, uh, a, a new technology. And so that, that's just a whole new area that we, we as a college need to continue to train our students because that's where it's all heading. Right, right. Well, in terms of time commitment, so mm -hmm. are these ser services that you're offered, can they be one hour blocks or, or maybe seminar blocks where they are taking up a weekend or, you know, how does... Okay, so normally uh, it could be a one day, eight hour training. It could be multiple days. Okay. Uh, it could be one week, which is 40 hours or multiple weeks. And so we find that the more technical the training is, and the more level of difficulty, right. the more contact hours. Right. So it just depends. It really varies. It's pretty broad. And do you try to be flexible um, in terms of coordinating the times offered so that they're not missing too much work? Or is, I mean, oh, are absolutely. we offering weekends, evenings kind of training? You know, it's a little of both. Uh, we've got clients that are uh, really generous with their employees and train, you know, pay them to come and train. During the day, right? During the day, <laughs> 8 to 5, for three weeks or whatever the number is. Um, then we've got um, uh, clients that want us to create a program for after hours. So maybe from 6 to 8 for, you know, 12 weeks. Mm -hmm. But their employee still gets paid and incented to come to the training. Mm -hmm. uh, we could do the training here at Belmar or at the client site. So it's really broad and it's, it just really varies on the client expectations and needs. Okay, you mentioned that perhaps the employee's probably still getting paid while attending this, but mm -hmm. what are the costs for the classes for either an individual or um, how does someone get involved okay. in this and register? So we deal directly with the client, so they, tr uh, they sign a training agreement. And this training agreement provides um, a fee to Del Mar College that says they agree to pay us a certain fee for the class. And we all, so that's one revenue source. 
The other revenue source that we have is a relationship that we have with Texas Workforce Commission, and they provide skills funds. And these skills funds provide uh, the money to uh, to pay for training services. Okay. So Delmar has our group. We have a group of people that manage that relationship. So. So we have these two streams of revenue to the, for the college, either through contract training or through skills funds. And both of those bring revenue to the college, bring contact hours to the college, as well as capacity, and of course takes care of the client. Okay. Yeah. Uh, you know, in terms of um, classes where they're being offered, just Corpus Christi, other areas? Oh gosh, no. I mean, of course, New Oasis County. Okay. Um, then we also go north of the bridge to San, San Patricio County and to their communities. And again, as I mentioned, we could do the training at their site or at our site. It just depends on what you know the needs are of the client. So we if, really try to accommodate. And if there's not something that you offer right now, perhaps this is something that we could, you could communicate with is to build a training, perhaps. Oh, absolutely. You know, we we work closely with our colleagues uh, on the credit side of the house because we're always talking to industry. So we're on the forefront and they're, they're sharing with us what are some of the new things they're hearing that they need. And so we work with them to create offerings. Uh, the other thing that we do is we make sure that we look at the occupation targeted list and say, okay, these are the jobs that are in demand right, right. now in the Coastal Bend region, in the state of Texas. Are we pre creating those programs that fit that need? And then, of course, do these programs fit the initiative of the Pathways College Initiative? So, you know, we look at all those pieces and do we have a winning formula? Perfect. Yeah. Quickly, where is the phone number that someone could reach or a web page if they want to find more information? Okay, so two main numbers, uh, area code 361-698-2408 or area code 361-883-WORK, W-O-R-K, which is 9675. Uh, you could go to the delmar.edu website, uh, click on the top right uh, corner to uh, for the CE workforce education topic. Okay. And then as you scroll down, you can hit corporate services. And there we are. And you can find us on Facebook at DMC Corporate Services. Perfect. All right. Well, thanks for chatting with us today. Oh, thank you for the time. I, we really appreciate the opportunity to showcase, showcase our products. If you have questions or comments about Delmar Now, please send an email to now at delmar.edu. We will return in May with an all new show. Until then, I'm Amy Mintz for Delmar Now. Thanks for watching.